Finally doing the first mod to the MT-09 today. I'll be doing the TST Industries rear fender eliminator, getting rid of this entire thing right here. I've only ridden this thing one time and that was just like to go fill it up and just take it on a little test drive because it's been too cold. This thing needs to go immediately because that's just, that's awful. We have the full TST kit right here. We got their little echo blinkers. We got their universal license plate light. What I really like about TST Industries is they actually have these little adapters which connect to their blinkers just with these little bolt connectors. And then the other ends are actually OEM Yamaha connectors. So there's no like splicing or tapping needed for the blinkers. That's like as plug and play as it gets. The only real tapping or splicing we're going to have to do is with the uh, universal license plate light, which is not bad at all. They come with these little like tapping caps, real simple to use and stuff. We got the plate mount the block off plate and then I do have these Womatech uh, spools that I need to install. So I'm not going to be doing like a whole like deep install video or anything really instructional because uh, TST actually has a very instructional video on how to do all this stuff with their kit and everything. Um, so there's no real reason for me to make a video like that. It shouldn't be too bad because it's a pretty simple install on the MT-09. Uh, it's just got like four bolts here, another four bolts, and then the whole rear fender will pop off. We just got to undo all the wires and stuff. And it's nice too because the MT-09 is actually like pretty simple as far as like wiring harnesses and stuff. Um, on the Rebel, it's actually a huge pain in the butt. All the wiring harnesses are like combined and everything. But this is the layout in this is just pretty simple, so it should be pretty easy. So for the license plate light, it does come with these tapping caps and what I'm actually going to do is, this is the license plate connector right here, I'm actually going to be cutting off this portion right here um, just so we can still attach this to the OEM connector and then we will tap these wires into the back of here. So technically we have like a plug and play for where we want to take it on and off. Um, we don't have to sit there and undo the caps and everything, it's just a connector here. Look how much cleaner that looks just with that thing gone. Obviously we're going to have a plate like right here later on, but I mean just look at that, that's like huge freaking difference I'm trying to decide where I want to mount these blinkers to I do show you like three different places you can mount these blinkers you can either mount them on the license plate bracket itself um, they just hang off the side here or you can use those included brackets and go under here and these are also a through hole into the inside um, so you can mount them here as well I think we're gonna go here I was gonna go here but I don't know I feel like these are just gonna get hit with like water and gravel and just kind of destroyed I mean, these are weatherproof, but I'd rather just not take the chance. Um, so I think instead of here, we're gonna go on the side here and kind of keep it out of like as much weather and water as possible. So I think we'll go on the side right here. I mean, I do feel like they would look better up under here because they'd be kind of like closer together and stuff. Um, but this just seems like a safer spot to put them, I guess. These off. That was like barely on there at all. These uh, blinkers have the same thread pitch as this bolt, so you gotta kinda thread them in there. But at the same time, you gotta make sure as you're spinning this, you're not twisting up the cables and making them all bind and stuff. Yeah guys, so so far this is not too bad. I got the blinkers ran up here, um, wirings feed through and everything. And here are these adapters I was talking about before. These two ends plug right into the blinkers. Black and yellow, black and yellow, super simple. And then this, hopefully I ordered the right ones, this should be the Yamaha connector um, for the OEM clips down here. I'm going to hit these with some electrical tape too, just to make everything look a little cleaner, make sure it's a little more weather sealed and stuff. Probably should have function tested these before going with the tape, but uh, I'm just going to go for it because I don't think much can go wrong here. Hey, left side's good, right side's good. 
brake light still works. We ain't screwed anything up there. Sweet, so blinkers all work good. I'm gonna find a way to route these wires a little bit cleaner in here. I'm gonna get these all tightened down now and get them pointed where I want to. I'm debating on using blue Loctite or not. I might just torque them down a little bit and witness mark them and just watch them. Um, if they come loose in the future, then I'll definitely blue Loctite them. This might be the scariest one because this is where we're gonna cut off the connector right here off of the old fender so we can make like a little plug and play quick connect thing. These caps are pretty dope though because these will kind of just tap into these wires here and then the license plate light wires kind of tap in through there. We should have light. There we go. Well guys, she's completely done. All the lights work, got everything routed in there, zip tied up and everything. That looks so freaking good. Now I just gotta wait for my actual place to show up because this temp looks ugly as hell. That looks so much cleaner. But I'm gonna go take this thing for a quick ride and make sure everything still works after it's like hit some bumps and like shaking around a little bit. But yeah, I think she's good to go. That looks so much better.